In this lesson, I will show you some tricks how to query the records with Laravel relationships more effectively or in more pretty way. So this is our scenario. We have a table of books with author ID, which is a relationship belongs to author. There are 10 authors preceded and 50 books preceded. And what if we want to query the books by a certain author, by his name, but only with some title containing something? And here I am in the code of that. So this is a typical query builder statement. So you want to query books, joining authors, uh, where author's name is this, and where title is like letter A, for example. And we, we, we want to get the titles. Plug title, and this is the result. The result is array of two books. Let's check that. It's letter A here, letter A here, but that author has more books, like four more, but they don't appear. So this is a correct statement. Uh, how to do that better in, in relationship? So first we, we get the author. Maybe you get that author already if you have that model, that object. And then we can use the relationship. So books equals author books, which is, has many relationship on here. So I can show you author books, books. And then we copy the same thing. So basically books where what? Well, Let's comment that out and let's see if it didn't change the result. Refresh the page. Yep, same two records, so it didn't change anything. So this is how you can query the relationship without joining the table, without using Query Builder, just by using author books as has many relationship. Next thing, next example, uh, is a function called has. So what if we want to add the author? Actually, I've prepared that code already. I don't need to copy it from here. Uh, authors that have at least one book in the database. Authors. Actually, I think it's this. Whatever we need that variable. So author has books means that uh, it will filter all the record that has at least one book. And in our case, I've specifically done this is the order by so order author ID number three doesn't have any book everyone else they have a book in the database so it should be nine records refresh that and as I said we have nine authors out of ten so has books the opposite of that is doesn't have so doesn't have books get all the authors without a book and in our case it's one author on top of that with has we can do some more checks so what if we want to get authors that have more than five books simple as that so we have three authors with more than five books let's quickly check that so this is the one this is not this is not not so yeah it's pretty correct so three authors with more than one book more than five books, sorry. So this is the way how you filter the amount of relationships on a record. Let's move on. Another example would be another relationship with second level deep. In our case, we have a book and then every book may have a rating. So there is a rating model and in the database, there is a table for that, so ratings. And also I've preceded 10 random ratings for the books, so some book have, uh, some books have the relationship, some books haven't, I mean the record. Uh, and what if we want to query only the books, actually only the authors that have rated books, at least one record. We can do that uh, similarly, actually let's comment it out, author has books ratings. That's it, let's refresh that. So we have six authors with at least one rating on at least one book. And the final example I want to show you here is filtering child record with where statement. It would be similar to this one, 
but a more elegant, uh, eloquent way using function called where has. Where has, copy and paste here. So author, where has books, and then you have a callback function to query whatever you want. DD that, comment this out. So it's really similar to this one, but uh, querying author instead of books, querying authors. So uh, the result of this would be books and the result of this would be authors. Let's DD that. Eight authors with books on letter A. Let's try B. Four authors with titles with letter B. So it means that it's correct. So the change in query. So this is the way how you filter the, the child relationship with some additional query. Uh, on top of that, my final notice for that would be be careful with that eloquent magic. I call it magic because you don't know what SQL statements are executed under the hood. You may make some typo with like has and where has. You may even, I don't know, you may make some mistake and you wouldn't even notice that SQL query returns the wrong result. Or even worst case, uh, you may bump into um, performance issues. So uh, too many SQL queries are running under the hood. And we will talk about that in depth in the next chapter on eloquent performance. But my notice here is just uh, be careful with those eloquent functions and make sure that you have the right amount of queries uh, and you know what you're doing and you know what SQL statements are executed.